YouTube family. What's the deal, man? It's what crispy, clean clip of Cliff World TV. And y'all already know how I'm rocking like cut off stockings and Mary Poppins, man. And today, we better take an interesting deep dive into the life, the journey, the trials, and the tribulations of the Blue Eminem. I said the Blue Eminem. Atlanta, Georgia's very own. Long way, long way out. Blue on my end. Pee Wee Long Way, man. Y'all jump in the comment section right now and tell Pee Wee Long Way to get back in the rap game and quit playing, man. Quit playing. Yeah, we finna jump into life. The interesting journey of that boy Pee Wee Long Way. Y'all already know Long Way flow pattern is one of them ones that went on to inspire guys like Go Yayo. So y'all already know what y'all can do. Get your snacks. Get your doobies. Okay, kick back like we finna watch the movies with Crispy Clean Cliff Dog of Cliff World TV. We really get straight to it. Quinn Lamont Williams, or shall we call him by the stage name that we all know him by? Pee Wee Longway is an American rapper best known by his mixtape The Blue Eminem and The Blue Eminem Volume 2. Yep. And his single Loaded with his cousin Young Thug. Now, Pee Wee Longway would emerge on the rap scene with the Migos, Jose Guapo, Rich the Kid, OG Maco, MPA Duke, Trouble, Young Thug, and the list goes on and on. Pee Wee Longway would be amongst those who was a representation for the new Atlanta sound in the early 2010s. Pee Wee Longway would already have prior relationships with huge Atlanta moguls that wasn't Atlanta moguls at the time, like Gucci Mane LaFleur. As a matter of fact, you two family, Gucci Mane LaFleur and Pee Wee Longway went to school together. Now, Longway is a little bit younger than Gucci Mane LaFleur, but Longway always contested. Even in high school, Gucci Mane was that guy. So Pee Wee Longway goes back longer than his emergence to the rap scene. Now, as we all know by now, I forgot to mention, Pee Wee Longway is from Atlanta, Georgia. And I think it's real imperative, real, 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 real imperative to say that Pee Wee Longway's contribution to the rap scene in the early 2000s, we talking 2012, 13, 14, was absolutely monumental. Now, Pee Wee Longway is one of them guys who ain't gonna go around saying he started a certain flow pattern. But he did. Although he didn't get as big as Young Thug, Pee Wee Longway's flow pattern in his cadence and his delivery is like one of a kind, man. So I thought I'd just go ahead and do my due diligence and tell a Pee Wee Longway story because I, I I mess with Longway, bro. Longway, if you see this, baby, I mess with you, bro. The Longway, no pun intended. I guess one of the best things about Pee Wee Longway is that he is a traditional artist in the sense that his lifestyle is a mystery. What he does is not often portrayed on social media like every other rapper. So doing this video, man, it was actually fun. This was actually a fun video to do because I had to go do some actual journalistic work, put my sources together, and scrub ready just to get his story. He still has that mystique of a mysterious artist like the 90s. Now, he will receive the nickname Pee Wee from his grandmother, and he would also be from the Zone 3 area of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, Pee Wee Longway remembers him being a hustler dating all the way back to his high school years where he'd attend high school with Gucci Mane LaFleur. Now, Pee Wee Longway would contest that he wasn't the best student at school. I mean, academically, he had excel, and it wasn't like he was just too much of a trouble, but he did get kicked out of high school, causing him not to be able to graduate. So growing up, like, did you, did you, uh, how, like, what was your grades like? Did you, you know, like, when did you go to school? Man, go? I only had mine, my grade was good, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Good. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, like, you, you mentioned, uh, you said you didn't graduate on time. What was the reason for that? Uh, no, man, lack, lack, uh, lack, lack of, uh, of uh, coming to school, you know what I'm saying? Not 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 going to class, you know what I'm saying? No, not doing it right, not because I was dumb, or not, you know what I'm saying? Just want to participate. Pee Wee Longway would be asked on Say Cheese's platform by Sean Cotton, shout Sean Cotton and Say Cheese, what he would actually do during the daytime when everybody was attending school and he wasn't in school. And Pee Wee Longway took the Vlad TV route and simply said it was personal. Well, what are you doing during the day while everybody's at school? A person. That was a little personal. Oh, okay. It got a little personal. Daytime. 
got no part. It got partially in the day. Yeah. Okay. We can all use our imagination with a long way, long way to do. Hey, bro. Hey, get that three five out the scale. Hey, shout it. Go to the store and give me some good sense bags right now. Nah, go to the one on counter road. They got the ones that don't roll. Say twin, I got the banana ten perk, motherfucker. Shot with me, fuck with me on. I got them. Hey, good corn, good tech on this. Shot it, fuck with me. Say twin, I had got down the one up to Maddie, fucked off a of bad last night. Now I'm back in zone three, trapping. So we can only imagine that Pee Wee Longway was booming the bunker. Of course, he evaded that line of questioning. He evaded the line of questioning. But I did manage to find a jail record on that boy long way, long way to give us kind of a clue of what he was going through. Now, on March 9th, 2005, long way, long way, all uh, blue on my end was followed by law enforcement in his 1996 Chevy Impala when they pulled him over for the license plate tabs being expired, which was a thousand dollar fine. Now, they got long way, long way, all uh, blue on my end and booked him for possession of marijuana with intent to distribute. Now, like I said, that was in 2005. So y'all kinda, and as a matter of fact, I'ma throw this, I'ma go ahead and throw the mug shot a long way up here. This one he had here. Y'all know long way hairline been received since 96. I'ma go and throw it up here, man. Anyways, YouTube family, yeah, man, we kinda got an idea to what long way, long way was doing, man. I blew on my end, you know what I mean? And we love that he knows how to evade these type of line of questions. But let's move forward. Now, at around 2011, late 2011, 2012, going into 2013, is when music would start to play a role in Pee Wee Longway's life. Now, as I stated before, Pee Wee Longway went to school with Gucci Mane and Flair, a.k.a. Radrick Davis. But since the high school days, Radrick Davis had became an international superstar. So it wasn't too far-fetched for Pee Wee Longway to see himself getting such success if not as much maybe just a little now Pee Wee Longway in his younger years would grow up in the household with just his mother and he would state that man his father wasn't even in his life and he really didn't think twice about the man or his whereabouts at all a story that is too 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 familiar throughout minority communities but anyway the boy would learn to pick the tricks and trades of the street lifestyle up regardless of him having a father figure in the house Nevertheless, he'd do pretty well for himself. Now, Pee Wee Longway and Gucci Mane LaFleur, aka Rachel Davis, was in the same line of work. They were street pharmacists, and sometimes your boy Rachel Davis would turn into a jack boy. But this is how the relationship between Pee Wee Longway and Gucci Mane LaFleur grew outside of the schoolhouse. They both ran into the same thing. Pee Wee Longway also grew up in the same neighborhood as Young Thug, and I don't know if these two guys are illegitimate cousins, but he do claim some type of kinship to Young Thug. Regardless of the fact the two have to be close because it'd be Pee Wee Longway who was solely responsible for bringing Young Thug to Gucci Mane and then later getting him signed to the 1017 imprint. When did you meet Young Thug? Yeah, I've been each other all the life, man. Okay, y'all grew up in the same area? Yeah, same apartment. Okay, so did you know he was gonna be a star? Man, when I knew, you know, you know, you know, thug, thug, man, we all, we all, we all unique. Yeah. Like, okay, well, before the fame, was he like always different? Before the fame, he was, he was thug, man, young thug, you know? Yeah, way before. Young thug had a ball before anything, man. Right. He tried, he threw a rabbit for way for a while. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, did you bring him to Gucci or? Yeah, 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 yeah. We all, yeah, 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 yeah. So Young Thug started rapping and then you saw the star and, and you brought him around Gucci. A lot of people saw the star. Everything, everything, though. No. Longway will also be amongst those in Atlanta that represents the real Atlanta. And when I say that, Pee Wee Longway was born at Grady Hospital. Now, in Atlanta, and this is just kind of like L.A. When people say L.A., Watts, Inglewood, Compton, are all different places. That's kind of how it is in Atlanta when it comes down to Decatur, Riverdale, the North Side, and etc. And for those who don't know what I mean by the real Atlanta, I'm going to let Jade from the Big Fats Podcast explain exactly what I mean. Why are you getting so, it right? Let's talk about the real Atlanta, everybody. To me... Okay, I like that screen. Yeah. To me, though, the... 
Olympics. If you were here before the Olympics, man, you yeah. can consider yourself. If you were here before, before the Olympics. The Ouija board, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. Free, yeah, like, free, if you were here, 90. like, when the projects were up, then, oh, like, there you go. you're the real Atlanta. Like, Techwood. if you've been to, like, Capitol Homes, you've been to Perry Homes, you've been to Jones Ross South, you've been to, like, all of these places. Like, He's late with black. What you? Ed Wood with black phone. Yeah, like all that shit. Like if you you've been kick. there, and you, were, you know what I'm saying, you gone there and you were allowed to like come back or you know frequent those different areas and sections without a problem. Then like even if you had a problem, because niggas been beefing in the city like since the beginning of time. But mm-hmm. as long as you serve, I'm sorry. As long as you survived and like made it out of that shit, then survived. technically you're the real Atlanta. Mm. That's 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 from an older point of view. If you born here, <laughs> so you gotta survive like the army people. <laughs> Pee Wee Longway is a really humble guy. Now he's one of the guys that started a crazy signature flow pattern that gets used by a whole lot of artists today, but a lot of people wouldn't notice because Pee Wee Longway always faded in and out of the rap game. Not saying that he didn't take it serious, he was just always preoccupied with other things. Pee Wee Longway, before becoming a rapper, he was initially in the background basically coaching Young Thug and coaching Scooter on what he felt sounded great sonically. See, that's how it went. <laughs> Here comes the story. Scooter know me, but Wop know me too. But Scooter having show, he cracking at the time. He hear that uh, um, Slack got a um, Thug got a song that the whole club go crazy over mm-hmm. before he perform. So Wop called me, and I take him there. Just, just like that. That's it. And that that where the journey went. But it ain't gonna say that's it because it was just like a whole lot of shit way before that. You know what I'm saying? We all did like studio like So you saying street got now told what thug going crazy. It's a song that him him Duke and Wicked got going mm-hmm. crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that got now. Who's on top? Uh who's on top? Yeah, I was a video shoot, yeah. So he heard it. He who's on yeah, top? Too. He like got him <laughs> it little match. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, yes, okay. <laughs> And at the time, thug do and wicked, they were signed to you. That one never signed to me. I don't Y'all know, just I brothers. Don't know yeah. Y'all just brothers, yeah, basically. Yeah, like, if, if. I get what you're saying. Yeah. But he was behind Duke and Wicked. Yeah. Not yeah. signed to you, but like, okay. Whatever they told me to do, I did. And Scooter Slime, I mean, um. Street. Pr- uh, Wap so, reached yeah. out to Pee Wee. To my, I want to sign you. <laughs> what he did me say? Wait. <laughs> I said, "What the fuck you mean you want to sign me, my nigga?" He said, "I want, I want, I just want to sign you. I want to sign. I don't want to sign unless I sign you." I said, "Bro, you can't. I, I don't. I, what the hell you gonna do with me?" <laughs> That's what he said. You, you see what I'm saying? But he, he talking about off the mean. He talking about just off the. He talking about off just how I kick it in my. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was like, "Shit, how I'm gonna pop some flavors?" So he was like, "Shit, off that he knew it was gonna lead to something." You know what I'm saying? I get back it, then, man. all the way back then. Back. And look where we at now. He know that shit though. Yeah, look mm-hmm. where we at now. I bullshit side. He know them nigga. He was telling me when you been through that nigga Pee Wee hard. He just playing that nigga hard though. And y'all niggas start being in the booth every day like, oh, he's here. <laughs> this shit come by later. You got things like it's fun. The motherfucker, it's like it just, it just become fun, 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 fun. I don't even know how to go in there and come, go in there and make a hit and get frustrated like you. Go to my my song with it. Pee Wee Longway will be one of the founders of MPA, aka Money Power Ammunition. Where earlier on, he even had artists on his roster like Young Thug and MPA Duke, who is now known as YSL Duke. And as a matter of fact, YouTube family, Brick Baby from No Jumper, Rolling 60's Crip Brick Baby was also a standing member and still is a member of the MPA. As a matter of fact, he's the co-founder. If y'all want the backstory of MPA, Brick Baby, their relationship, go check out the video that I did on Brick Baby, which ironically now is trending. Y'all go check that out and I kind of expound and went into detail with that. In 2013, Pee Wee Longway will release a mixtape entitled Money, Pounds, and Ammunition that featured Gucci Mane LaFleur. He would also be featured on Gucci Mane's World War III Lean, and he'd be on the song Activist. Now, contrary to popular belief, although it has been credited to the Migos and the Northside, the dab actually came from Pee Wee Longway. Not only that, 
the term, the phrase, running around the lobby was a thing that Pee Wee Longway also coined as well. Now, Pee Wee Longway would get popularity after being on the song with Young Thug entitled Reloaded. On the song, Pee Wee Longway describes the day in the life of a trap star as he vividly details how he goes to the hills with the hippies of California loaded down with number Blue Benjamin. Pee Wee Longway would also have a song featuring Amigos entitled Came In, but it would be the song African Diamonds with Hood Rich Pablo One that officially put Pee Wee Longway on the map, as well as his song James Bond. Now, as I stated before, Pee Wee Longway would be one of the members of the new Atlanta sound, meaning that he was one of the ones that shaped the sonic sound for Atlanta. By doing so, a lot of mystique built around the artist which would prompt Vlad TV to reach out and get an interview in the famous Curb interview that Pee Wee Longway did. Now on his songs, he's vocal on how he's a neighborhood crip from Roller 60s, but once he went to DJ Vlad and Vlad asked him about his crip affiliation, well, let's just roll the clip. Okay. Oh, um, when, I, when I look at your music, when I listen to your music and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. The color blue seems to be very it's prominent. A, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> it's a nice color. It ain't nothing like now, that. Now, now, I assume there's a crip thing going on? Nah, just a nice color. Just a nice color? Yeah. No no cripping going no, on? No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color, just the scene. Things okay. in the scene, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, growing up... In the now, I don't know if y'all know this or not, YouTube family, but Pee Wee Longway is one of the funniest people on the planet Earth. He ain't just one of the best rappers in Atlanta. The boy is funny, 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 unintentionally without even trying to be funny. Now, if y'all fans of Longway out there, y'all know I'm telling the truth. Pee Wee Longway, man, you might as well just go ahead and do stand-up comedian. Now, uh, now, look, I got a video clip of a time when Pee Wee Longway was at his trap house or at his studio or whatever the case may be and he was watching the Adrian Broner versus Manny Pacquiao fight. Now, if everybody remember that fight, we all knew that Adrian Broner was gonna lose. We all knew that Adrian Broner was gonna lose. But for some reason, Pee Wee Longway and his grandmother had their money on Adrian Broner. Now, Pee Wee Longway had a cousin in attendance along, along with his friends as well. Now, his cousin put the money on Adrian Broner. I mean, his cousin put the money on Manny Pacquiao and as we all know, Manny Pacquiao won, Adrian Broner lost. Now, this visibly upset Pee Wee Longway. I don't know if he was just playing or not. You too. Before y'all try to strike me down, understand that this clip that I'm about to play is literally these guys are just playing. They're relatives. They not serious. But I'm about to play a clip from Pee Wee Longway where him and his cousin got to arguing and Pee Wee Longway got mad because his grandma started crying that Manny Pacquiao did. Adrian Broner lost the fight, man. Let me go ahead and roll the clip. Boom. Bro, chill, bro. Hey, Leave you alone. Bro, chill, bro. Hey, man. Get my king, man. Fuck his king. Grandma crying? Bro, chill, bro. bro chill, it's grandma crying. Hey, man. It's grandma crying. Bro, chill, bro. Calm down. Bro. Don't tell me, guys. It's grandma crying. Hey, bro. Bro, let it go, bro. Let it go, bro. Let it go, bro. Hey, go. Hey. Let go, man, be crying. Let go, man, be crying. Fuck, nigga. Nigga, let go, man, be crying. Fuck, nigga. Nigga, let go, man, be crying. Fuck, nigga. Nigga, fuck. Let shit go, bro. 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 Let <laughs> now y'all know long way, long way be geeked up off that Miley, bro. Y'all can see in his eyes, bro. <laughs> bro, that boy long way is just funny, man. Unintentionally funny. But anyways, you two family, man. I know y'all want more, but guess what? I'm gonna do a part two. I'm gonna do a part two, man. I'm gonna do a part two. Jump in the comment section if y'all want to hear the Pee Wee's Long Way Story Part Two.
Jump in the comment section. Sauce Walker Part 2 on the way. I know everybody wants that Sauce Walker Part 2. Y'all just love y'all some sauce, son. Okay, cool, man. I'm going to drop that Sauce Walker. I'm going to drop that Mass Mode. Shout out to Pee Wee Longway, man. I'm going to blow my hand long way, man. Shout out to MPA, man. Money, power, ammunition. Yeah, money, power, ammunition. Shout out to the boy Sir Pee Wee Longway, man. This boy Crispy Clean Cliff for Cliff World TV, man. Y'all jump in the comment section and let me know who y'all want to hear. Oh, wait. Almost got you two, family. Yeah, it's that time, you heard me. Yeah, y'all jump in the comment section right now. I'm blessing five people. Jump in the comment section. Put your cash up in the comment section. I'm sending a blessing. I'm sending a blessing. Jump in the comment section. Five people. Put your cash up in there. I'm going to choose five random people. If I see your name all the time and if we always interact, you for sure going to get picked. I, hey, man, it might be a little biased. You for sure going to get picked. All of my day ones. If I see your, my, one of my day ones names, I'm for sure cash app and get some money. Five people, YouTube family, jump in the comment section. Put your cash app name in the comment section. Okay? On Monday, I'm going to be cash app. So then I'm cash app. Man, it's Chris McLean Cliff, a Cliff World TV. Like I said, y'all jump in the comment section. Let me know who y'all want to hear next, man. I'm yeah. YouTube family. I'm going to need y'all to tap in with my girl here by Honey Man. She is CEO, loctician, beautician, all-around miracle worker out of Spokane, Washington. But if that bag is right, she will fly to you. Now, I'm telling y'all, I have seen her turn some solid tools into dimes. Some solid tools into dimes. Some weight at the back of the line, so you ain't got to wait in line. I said, man, if you need your retwist, if you need your edges laid, if you don't want to go outside looking play, man, because I'm telling y'all, some of y'all, I seen y'all out there last weekend, and you was looking a little crushed. And she do kids here, too. And I seen some of y'all kids' pictures, man. And, hey, man, on picture day, that hair was nappy. So if y'all didn't have nobody to do it, I'm telling y'all, putting y'all down right now. Hair by honey, your booking done right now. You can't let your appearance be the interference. Don't let your appearance be the interference, I'm telling you. Don't try to lay your edges yourself. It ain't going to work. Hair by Honey, she is a professional. She does this for a living. Get your book it right now. It might be a line, but for the right dime, you might be able to jump the line. YouTube family, I'm going to need y'all to check out my boy, Ari Young, man, coming out of California. He a streamer. He's a YouTuber. And he's an artist. Let's just say he's multi-talented. I mean, hey, the boy could be the next Coxnet. Twitch, holla at my boy. Send him a bag. To everybody that be on Twitch, even Discord. Man, y'all need to holla at my boy, Eric Young, man. This the wave of the future. Live streamers are creating a new millionaires. And I got faith in my boy, Eric Young. I mean, he was smart enough to get the promo. Y'all make sure y'all tap into his show, Stay Cloudy. Subscribe to him on Twitch. Area, man, look, he gaming, he doing music, he live streaming, blunt rolling contest, Mario Kart, you name it. Like I told y'all, this the wave of the future, man. Now let's jump into the video y'all been waiting for. YouTube family, I'm gonna need y'all to tap in with my boy Mimosa, man, and mobbing with Mimosa and his podcast. Look. If you're in the greater Northwest area and you trying to get exposure, man, and you know you deserve that spotlight and your music really hidden, Mobbing with Mimosa is the place to go. I'm telling y'all, man, he running the multimedia blog site and he'll pull up for the interview. He's been seen on camera with Big Sad 1900 collaborator Lil Booth out in Tacoma. And that interview went yay yay. He did an interview with XD Stacks, FTFKT, and man, he even got me and BBDL on the interview, man. Listen, if you're in the greater Northwest area and you want some exposure, I'm telling you, Vancouver, Tequila, Tacoma, Seattle, Kennewick, Aurora Orange, Renton, Belltown, tap in with Mobby with Mimosa, man. He on the rise. I'm letting y'all know, man. He one of my guys. I'm putting a stamp on it. Look out for Mobby with Mimosa podcast and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Listen, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Don't inbox me any more links. If you're in the greater Northwest area and you rap and you make music, I don't want to see no more links. Don't inbox me any more links. I need to see you on Mobbing with Mimosa's podcast. Then I'll pay attention. Hey. Hey.
get my pimpin' like I'm done one. I'ma stop at the store, sell me an onion. Go and get some backwoods in the back of Funyun. Let a nigga play me sweet and he gon' meet the honey bun. I ain't ride with it unless he got a hundred round drum. Hit that nigga with the drink, he gon' butt up out I'm bomb. Hit her with the daddy stroke, I got the little baby sprung. Gotta keep that thing on you coming from where I'm from. Gotta keep that thing on you where you coming from the bird. I be juggin' and finessin', got that boy and got that girl.